you guys i got a new stand i wish i could show you so though it's so minimalist it's so easy to carry i wanted to pull some cards because i haven't done that and i just got these little cheap things Is any of you guys going to go to a casino soon? A little turnaround trip. My age group don't do turnaround trips unless you go with your parents. Those should be cool. I like a little turnaround trip. finish smoking for a second. I'm gonna take one more, two more puffs and then I'm gonna stop. I was talking to this lady the other day and she was like, you know what? I was like, what? She was like, I'll be yelling at my kid. She said, I'll be yelling at my kid. I'll be bringing out my, my daughter around men. She said, all I do is smoke some weed. And that's all she got to deal with me. And that's what she just got to deal with me. That's what she going to have to do with me. That's it. I just smoked me some weed. And I was like, okay. And I thought about that myself. But when I have kids, I'm going to be a stoner. Like, I'm never giving up weed. <laughs> I'm never even a weed. I'll take breaks. But I love some weed. Like, I was smoking yesterday just sitting at the beach. I've been smoking for like three days and sitting at the beach. The only thing I have a problem about weed is, is the munchies. And if I could smoke and then have me a meal prepared, that will be fine. Like, don't eat first. Like, smoke first, then eat. <laughs> But I love some weed. And then that's all my kids is going to have to deal with for me. That's cool. Now go outside and go pick out Mama a nug. Give me a nug real quick because I grew it, right? When I get, <laughs> had kids, I grew it. Same with my husband. If all I do, if I leave you alone, And all you be doing is see me roll up, sir. I'm gonna roll up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Get five dollars for my mama later on. I'm gonna give me some more weed and I'm gonna go to the beach and smoke. I like my evenings. I noticed, like, I like my evenings at the beach. I can't go in the mornings because, you know, the outreach program and shit. But I just, didn't we just send you to Houston? <laughs> so, yeah. But, I'm going to be, hold on, the cars. I don't know how they got all discombobulated. Okay. Let's pull some weed and, and, and play with some tarot cards. Dude, that's all a nigga got to deal with with me. Is weed and some tarot cards. <laughs> so, leave me be. <laughs> leave me be. Okay, we got the King of Pentacles. Let's see what else we have, right? Like, leave me be. <laughs> I'm outside. Baby, what you doing? Outside in the garden, smoking some weed. Eating a fruit that I just plucked, or a tomato. Hand me the black pepper. Right, like, hand me the black pepper. Oh, this is so good. This is good. 
We're about to have a good reading. We'll do one more card. I should have got that card that was uh, felt. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Let me see if anything else. Anything else? These cards are easy because they're thin. They're easy to shuffle. Okay, 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 okay. So the reverse book. So I'll leave that alone. Okay, so this is what we have. We have the Queen of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit in Reverse, the Nine of Wands, the High Priestess, and the King of Pentacles, okay? So, we are entering a really good time. And Spirit is like, this. the mind is on the shmoney, right? Like, the mind is on the money, the money is on the mind. Um... I'm going to start off with this. Let's start off with the biog. Not bad, but... Start off here. The story, okay? So we have the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Hermit in Reverse. So... I don't know about y'all, but for me in particular... <laughs> I'm not a little rough. <laughs> for me, this is usually when the messages be really good when my hair is <laughs> it's all over the place, Okay. <laughs> Like, let's just make it all over. Even some more. Okay, let me just... Let's get loose. <laughs> let's get loose. My hair smells so good. It smells so good. That's one thing I love about my hair. It be smelling good. Okay? And it could be in my hair. It might be wet. <laughs> he might feel so wet. Like, it's not wet right now. But he might feel some wet parts. He might come get some grease. But it's gonna smell good. He gonna smell. He gonna smell some good things in the hair. Okay. One thing I know of, of our lovers, they love being playing with my hair. My hair though. They love being all up in my hair, and I love it too. <laughs> I love it too. Okay. I remember when I was um, back in the back back days, like in high school, my hair used to be super hella greasy, right? Cause you had the blue magic and stuff like that. And you know, back in the day, we didn't have a wash hair routine cause my mama did our hair. So my hair used to be so greasy. It used to be so greasy. And the nigga that I was dating would be like, oh my God, your hair is so greasy. But right now it's dry. <laughs> but it's just so funny. Like <laughs> my hair don't be as greasy as it was back in the day, but it's just so funny. That's not what we were talking about. Okay, so. We've been having some losses, right? We we had a lot of financial losses, a lot of things that was hitting us, right? I need to post my other video that I made, I think yesterday. Um, we experienced some financial losses. We sometimes we get stuck in thinking about the 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 obstacles that we had to deal with when it came to um money right we had a lot of obstacles with money like sometimes we think that a plan or something would come off would get off or uh, uh something will be lucrative and then we lose the money right but okay well it didn't work spirit saying don't focus on anymore on what didn't work right don't be fearful like well i tried to open this sd store i spent all this money for it and it didn't work spirit was like okay it wasn't it didn't work at that time get back up and try it again so whatever it is that you wanted to invest in right so i then the, the video that i had made before this one talked a little bit more about investment taking the money that we have and investing in it so sometimes you think like well i had already invested into these little classes and things like that right like so in 2020 i had invested a lot of money into taking these classes but what i was doing was taking these classes from from woofy woof down the street right from folks the instagram the instagram institutes right <laughs> the instagram institutes where the people be like i got a program if you pay for my program i can teach you i'll show you how to lose weight i'll show you how to eat better you know the people who just take find it and be like, i'm gonna teach a class and they got an ebook so we invested in a lot of that right and it really didn't get us nowhere and so now like i told you the message from the last reading, Spirit said, okay, this time you're going to invest in your actual real accredited certifications, right? Certifications that really count, right? And so, 
because any bad things you did, even if it was, so I saw this post, this meme that talked about, because um, I was like, when my buddy get low, I start thinking about all the, all the things that I had spent unnecessarily. All the money I spent on things necessary, unnecessarily, right? <laughs> you like, damn, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have never ate that Chipotle. Damn, I should have never spent that money on that wing meal at Wingstop. I shouldn't have just got, I should have ate the chicken without the ranch. Right? You be like, damn, I should have, I could have had $2 a month before this blood uh, <laughs> to get me a wrap. You right? You're like, damn, if I didn't get that ranch, I could have got a wrap. If I didn't get this, I could have got that. Right? So we said, stop thinking about that. Stop thinking about all the obstacles. You have overcome every obstacle, every barrier, everything to come to, to wealth and to come into your abundance and things like that. And so this is not a time to retreat alone. You know, when our money's funny, we don't want to hang out with nobody, right? So the last couple of years, I have been the most friendless I have ever been in my life. I am a social butterfly. I make friends easily with people. I make friends easily with strangers. You know, that's something that is, I, I think is a gift and a blessing that is, that I don't, that I don't uh, claim as a blessing as much as I should because there's a lot of people who don't connect with people as easily, right? Like that's a gift to be able to connect with people easily. Everywhere I go, I don't mind going alone places because I'm gonna make, I'm gonna meet and make a friend. depending on how social I want to be. If I'm in a social energy, I'll make a friend, okay? I will make a friend. Anywhere I go, I'll have a whole conversation with people, be really connected. We family, okay? We cool. We we a boom, boom, shakoons. And so now is a time where, so when the money funny, I have been very to myself. I had not gone out. I ain't done anything. Because I've been like, my money's low. My money is funny. I can't go out. I can't be like, girl, let's go to dinner. Let's go here. Let's go for drinks and nothing like that. Because I couldn't even rehash with old friends. None of that. Because to me, my money is funny. So now Spirit's like, we're not, we're getting out of this hermit energy. And we're getting back into social, being social. But the thing is, you're social, you're being social this time and connecting with intent. Right? You're not being a user. You're not being an opportunist, but you're connecting with people who have similar goals to you. So you're going to be looking for friends with similar goals to you, right? People will be like, you know what? I like them. They got, they're they entrepreneurs. They get into their money. Like, I can learn from them. We're going to have a good connection. I'm going to take them out to drinks. We're going to talk, and they're going to give me some tea about the things, and we're going to grow because I'm on the same mission as them as they are, and they're not going to be a distraction to me. I'm not going to be a distraction to them. We're going to bounce with each other and so we're getting out of this hermit energy you can't success doesn't can't necessarily always be alone there's a phase in your success when you are alone especially in the idea phase with the brainstorming phase you are alone you are by yourself you are a hermit because you got to listen to the plans of the spirit not nobody else's ideas but listen to the plans of the spirit once you have it once you clear once you're not foggy anymore not no you're not blinded you ain't got to be alone now you could connect with people like okay like this is what i'm trying to get done you're really great at live videos and this and that and the third okay how do you do that and you, you know how to talk to people instead of when you are in your brainstorming idea it says you don't want to hear people's inputs you don't just don't want to hear other, what other people have to say but it's when you are you know finally out of that phase high when you're out of that phase is when you want to um you want to connect you want to build you know you know your direction you know the letters you want to step so you're not going to be alone now you like okay now i got a clear plan for myself i could be i could go out and back dating and date people who are right along the the lines of me right i told you if you want to be out mingling you want to mingle if you want to sleep with someone you want to sleep with people who who you you can set the attention to to upgrade with right so like i told y'all before i slept with a guy because he was in this traveling energy i wanted to travel slept up with him boom got the attention to to have the opportunity to move right you want to get to the bag you want to get to the money you want to you want to get a job go with a dude who who've been getting good jobs who've been elevating in his job things right 
So we're not alone anymore. We're not to ourselves and things like that. The spirit wants us to get out of this this obstacle, this this woe is me phase. You're looking at the blessings of what this brought you. What those those obstacles brought you, those mistakes brought you, those barriers you learn. Okay. So say for instance, let's go back to the thing about Etsy. One moment you had you was charging the thing was because your prices was too high for what you were selling. So now you know, and now you can go back to making the money. But don't cry over the fact it didn't work. Look at the blessing that it brought you. It brought you a new idea. It brought you. Um, it got you better at pricing and learn and learning, engaging with what what people price ranges would be. But your prices for your your your, the, your goods and the things that you want to sell, right? So you had those obstacles, but this ten is over ten of wands in me that you have overcome it. You're picking them up. It's done. You're moving them out the way. You're reviewing. You're reviewing. So after we get it out of this, we're we're here. You know your intuition. You know when to move, whether or not to move, who to connect with, and who not to connect with. You're very um, strategic about who gets to be in your energy now because you know where you want to go now. So you're a high priestess. You're very intuitive. You still see the vision. You still hold the vision. Now you're getting to that king of pentacles, to the mastery of your money. Now you're going to be like, I know what works for me financially. I know how to sell. I know what to do for content. I know what to do for this. I know what to do for that because I have done i have got, gone through every wrong and every mistake i have navigated through every mistake that now first of all i ain't even afraid of failing you're not afraid of failing your emotions is not as healthy you're sound you're not desperate right you're getting out of those emotions you're not desperate or anything like that you just know when to move and when not to move to trust your intuition on how to make your financial goals you're not just going frantically right you're not going to the neighborhood instagram institute no more you know okay i need to be serious about what i need to do i need to be serious about how i invest my coins what i spend on who i spend on your coinage your pinnacles is your energy and the money where to spend your money where to spend your energy but you are now a queen in the, in the cups. You're the queen of your emotions. You're still into. You're still in your nurturance. You're not a masculine in emotions. You're not angry. You're not aggressive. You're none of those things. You're still sweet. You're still nurturing. But you're nurturing your pinnacles. You know what to put. Uh, invest your emotions and your time and your energy. Right? Your emotions is that creativity. So you know how to be creative with the bag. You're a divine masculine when it comes to getting the coins, but you're still in your divine femininity too. This is how you, this is your create it, you sell it. Create it, you sell it. And your twist intuition, your high priestess is telling you when to do so. You're not desperate, you're not, I need this money. You're like, you know what? I'm here for the experience. If I make money, that is great. If I don't, I'll walk away knowing that I still got knowledge, right? If knowledge is worth your wealth, it'll be well earned. And so you you know that no matter what, the, even with the experience, is well earned. So you're not going to be crying over the spilled milk. You're not going to be crying over what didn't work. You're going to pick it up. You're going to review it. And you're going to keep going. So this is the energy that you're, you're in to keep going. You keep going because it's working now. It's going to work now. The Nine of Pentacles. Forgot about this card. You see, it? it's growing. It's about yourself, your stability. This is not about you and a partner. This is not about you finding somebody with money. This is not none of that. You are the investor. You're the grant. You're the loan. It's your ideas. Your ideas is the loan. God loaned you them ideas to make you a this. You're getting that money up. The sh money is coming up. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? God's like, this ain't no about no love shit. <laughs> this is not about no romance. We not in the in the fields of trying to of dealing with heartbreak or none of that. Literally, money is is our focus. 
the goals we have, financial goals is our focus. And because we invested our, our emotions and our time and our energy into building our stability, this is you building your stability. This is your stability, your garden, your grapes, your abundance. You're looking at the bird, you feel feeling majestic, right? Flowers all on the road and shit. She touching her money. She's touching her creativity. Spirit wants you to look at yourself in a place of wow, a place of awe. Like, damn, I really did that shit. This is a hustling card. This is the hustler. Hustle and motivate. Now you hustle and motivate. Right? Call you little baby Nipsey Hustle. Little baby Nipsey Hustle. I'm still mad that they, they painted over his mural. Uh, to, over on the next block, they painted over his mural, and so now I think it's easy. E, like the fuck? Why would y'all do that? <laughs> Why would y'all do that? And then they painted another Marilyn Monroe. How much Marilyn Monroe? Now that's my spirit guy right now. But still, how much Marilyn Monroe would we need? I needed Marilyn and it, right? But they say you getting out of that that grind of a nigga. You're not grinding as a nigga no more. You grinding in your feminine nature. You're alluring it. You're attracting it. You're watching it grow instead of you panicking over it. You're not panicking over your bills. You're not panicking about how you're going to make it. You know, we have to think about constantly how we was going to make it, how we was going to grow it. Where are you going? She's home. She waiting on me to take it to the bank. Oh. And I forgot, but I told her I don't, I don't want her to go by herself. Your mom's like, well, I said, no, because I told her. Oh, yeah. But, um, so, your mom get off at 1, she's 30-ish. I'm just going to take Granny to the bank. But, um, I put Granny some things on the bottom of the back to help her get dressed. And then, um, I can take Granny to the thing. We'll get her toes. Are you going to get the toes out, too? Mm-hmm. Okay, so, if I'm not back, can you just make sure Granny clean and I put her sweat thing? And I'm going to take her to the bank to come back. Okay. I get her dress if you didn't get her dress. Well, her sweatsuit is there, so I just make sure you know, that she can be like, your mom not getting off to um, one third. Okay. I'll be here at one third, but just in case. All right. Back. All right. Let me know. I'll be back. All right. Be safe. See, that was the sign already. You going to the bank. What did Cardi B say? I've been in and out the bank so much they think they tired of me. Honestly, don't give a fuck about who in front of me. I can't bother with these hoes. Don't let these hoes bother me. Right? I can't bother with these hoes. Where is it? I can't bother with these hoes. Don't let these hoes bother me. Right? You're not bothered by any, anything in life right now. Like, I don't care who mad at me. Like, so yesterday, right? Like, when the dude came and was like, you was hiding from me. Da, 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 and I was like... <laughs> Boo, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about an old lover. Like, an old lover can call me wanted to talk about what happened with us. And I'm like, look, sir. I'm going to say, sus. Look, sir. I don't care. It, it, life, life moves on. It, what happened, happened. The past is the past. We cool. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at you. Right? We Tupac. We ain't mad at a nigga. We not mad. We don't have no bitterness in our spirit. I'm not bitter. <laughs> I'm not mad. Because you know why? Money's on my mind. <laughs> not Last year, love was all on my mind. Love, 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 love. Okay? Romance, ro relationship, everything. Right? All of that was on my mind. All last year. I want a husband. I want to get married. 
I want to be pregnant. I want to be this and that and the third. Right? Who is my twin flame? <laughs> Who is my soulmate? Okay? Who is the man the God has for me? Now, baby, now, that ain't it. <laughs> That that is that ain't it. That's the least of my worries, okay? Them the least of my worries. I'm not here no more. I'm not thinking about dang I wasted that nigga wasted my time. I wasted my time. I could have done this, that, and the third. I could have gotten this much further off the ground. I'm trying to get my money up so I could prove to this nigga, make him wish, you know, make him regret, will he, you know, uh, will she just left, oh, he think this, that, and a third about me, he finna see, no, we not trying to look for no revenge on nobody, we not, you don't give a fuck about that bitch, okay, she called you a broke ass, bummy ass, dusty ass nigga last year, okay, you like, <laughs> okay, Last year, you was like, watch when I get my bread up. She gonna see who a dusty ass nigga. This year, you like, I don't. I don't care. I don't care if she like me or not. I don't care if she find me attractive. I don't care. I don't care if she's doing great in that relationship or not. I don't care if she's happy or if she's sad. I don't care about her existence whatsoever. Them friends, them fake friends, you free, you be like, okay, but they about to see... I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Right? You like, you like, I don't care. I don't care. Woof de woof said I wasn't going to make it. Uh, my teacher said I wasn't going to be nothing. You don't care about none of this anymore nothing you don't even give a fuck about no evil eye you were so unbothered by an evil eye last year all we gave a fuck about was an evil eye hopefully no evil eye trying to get me oh they talking down against my goals oh they sending negative energy that's why my shit can't get off this is da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you don't care <laughs> yeah, despite all of what the naysayers said you still got your shit up and you still walking I got my walking shoes, so can't tell me where I'm going, but I'm gonna down this lonely road. And the scenery so beautiful. And the <laughs> right, like you don't care, like you still walking in this unknown with spirit. You still in the forest with spirit, but now you got to the destination. Look, the destination right there. You ain't in the forest no more. You ain't in the dirt road no more. You heading home. You heading home to get comfortable. You heading home. Because when you get home, what's there? You see, you see the green in the back at the house? That's this. The same tree, okay? That's the tree. It's behind you. The house behind you, you in a garden. Because you know, in your home, you know you, you get into the bread, you get into the money. You done cracked the code. Okay, I now know how I could get my right now money to invest in my long-term money. Right? You ain't no more broke joke no more. Spirit is blessing me. I've been, I need to get my toes done. <laughs> I want to show y'all how crusty my... I'm going to show y'all. We Look, and y'all know I was homeless. <laughs> but they was looking like this before the homelessness, right? You see, I was watching, I was watching Thick Thread, and I had to turn it off because I felt so personally attacked. He, they was talking about how they was talking about the precisely was like girls got to do better now. Like, you know, there's gel polish. There's no excuse for why a girl has a uh, polished chip polish on her toe. <laughs> hey, bitch, that's me. <laughs> I feel so offended, like. Call me by my name. Add me next time. Say, say my name. Say my name. Say my name. <laughs> if you're going to open me, say my name. Right? 
but we don't give a f like we're so good emotionally there's people who got vendettas against us right now there's people that feel a way about us there's people who plot to, to confront us there's so many people that's about to come confront you <laughs> and not to be mean but you're gonna be like is this about money <laughs> We're the king of Pentecostals. You gonna be? You see him? He like if it ain't about the money, I don't. We don't really need to talk. You see him? He like is that a, is this about money? Are we finna make some money together? Is this conversation leading us to make a bag? Is we finna do content together? Is we finna? Is we finna finna? No. Okay then. <laughs> Oh, love will come back. Be like, all right, well, is we finna make a bag together? You finna help me out with this bag? You finna invest in it with me? Then, sir, we don't have nothing. We don't have to rectify. We can move on. We can sweep it under the rug. It ain't got to be cleared out because this ain't a healthy relationship anyways. So, we could continue to be toxic by sweeping whatever you did under the rug. Yeah, you could text me tomorrow. That's fine. If you want to text me, go ahead and text me. You want to call me? That's fine. Whatever. But I'm not about to be in the fields. I'm not about to be like, baby, baby, baby. You know, I like you, but you do. Da, 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 da. I'm not about to express my emotions. I'm not. No. I'm not expressing my emotions, sir. I'm at the beach with my pinnacles and my treasures. I'm at the beach. Smoking. I'm smoking my blunt at the beach, watching the sunset. That has been my favorite thing lately. Has been, is having a blunt, okay? Having a black and mild, having some snacks, looking at the beach, watching the sunset. Coming home when it's all dark. <laughs> what, what do you want? Because what I've noticed coming back into LA this week has been great in integrating back with the niggas that got a crush on me, but it's also wanting to play me. And it's like, nigga, you can have a bitch all you want. All you want, you can have a bitch. You can have a baby. Because a lot of them got bitches and babies, okay? B and B. You can have all of that. But what you're not going to do is disturb me. I'm not falling in love with you. <laughs> I'm not falling in love with you. I'm not falling in love with anyone right now. Because when I fall in love, when I'm in that love space, all these emotions go all twisted, turning. Things. Then I'll do he love me, do he love me not. Then I can't sleep because I, cause I feel like that nigga with a bitch. Oh, that is the most, un like, I was thinking at this, like, two days ago, I was like, the most uncomfortable feeling inside of my intern, inside of my insides, is a nigga playing in my face. A nigga playing in my face usually be the most unrequited love. Being, talking to somebody who pretending like they fucking with you on, on that level, and they know they not, is the most uncomfortable feeling in the world. And when I really really give a man the time of day and he playing in my face it distracts me from the other things that I do and then I start making foolish decisions and foolish mistakes right the same old mistakes felt like a brand new person and why can we make the same mistakes stop before it's too late I'm gone right we're not making the same mistakes over the same nigga over and over again. He want to call. He want to text. Hey, how you doing? How was your day? Cool, 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 cool. All right, my nigga, I got to go. <laughs> I got to get off this phone. He want to call you at a certain time because see, that's the only time he could talk to you before his bitch get home. Sir, sure. But what I'm not going to do is think this is real. Think we're in love. Think this is me and you finna be booed up. I'm not about to invest emotions into you. No, I am emotionally sound. You call, cool. You don't call, cool. You text, cool. You don't text, cool. I meet a new one. You're attractive, cool. You want to take me out, cool. You don't, cool. Either way it goes, 
I'm in my pinnacles. Real hot girl shit. I'm in my pinnacles. I'm not here. I'm not crying over you. I'm not messing up my money over you. I'm not crying over the shit you're doing and I'm I'm losing. I'm being distracted from the bag, right? Like that five of pentacles is like you're letting everything around you distract you from what you need to be growing. What is what these potentials, these ideas, these money making ideas for you, right? Every time I get a swarm of ideas and I get this motivation and this passion to do it, I always get wrapped up in a dude. I get wrapped up in a do and I end up not doing it or it takes me a long time to do it. The passion isn't there. The, the emotions in it and what I'm trying to build isn't there anymore because I took those emotions and, and, and transferred it to this man. You're going to the bank. Somebody may take you to the bank, but you're going to the bank, right? I love that. I love how my aunt just came through. Like, where are you going, girl? To the bank? We're going to the bank, okay? The, the, the pinnacle. You've been in the bank so much, in and out the bank so much that you think they toddy. You don't. You ain't a regular at Starbucks no more. You a regular at Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, like, hey girl, you here to deposit and is because I'm focused on the things that that is making me grow. I turned this into pinnacles. And I wrote a book on this one. I done made a video on that one. I took this wand and flipped it. I broke this wand and made some soup. You feel me? I done created a walking stick out of that wand and I sold it on Etsy. Okay? I done built the, uh, uh, a house with this wand. Okay? I done did this and that and the third with that wand. My stripper clothes came yesterday in the mail. And let me tell you something. They look so damn good. And I'm going to just go spend like a good week in the gym and it's going to look real even better. Okay, real even better. Like that, I didn't even know I said this, but it look real even better. Okay, period. <laughs> period. Okay. The things are coming together. Like I told y'all in the last video, I came back home because I needed I needed to be here so, so I could receive mail. So I could order stuff. Because I couldn't order things in Houston. Okay. Ordering things in Houston was 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 a was a block for me. Alright. I couldn't get my toes done in Houston. Okay, now get my toes done now. Okay, period. Okay. People is helping you out. Spirit is sending people now. The sending people that is going to help you with this. Okay? You're not getting, sending people who are coming to distract and destroy your emotions. If you start to feel rocky in your emotions, you we know how to catch it. The red signs be red side flagging in and in and be blowing in the wind immediately so this is not a love situation you see there's no lover's card there's no two of cups that came out spirit said it ain't about that right now you know if you are in a relationship your man's problems your girl's problems right now you could be there you could sympathize with them but that ain't about you right now like hey i got things i'm focusing on so uh, i understand you're upset and i'm gonna listen to you but i'm not about to be wrapped up in those emotions with you right especially as a woman your man may be like oh what is he mad for is, he, is it not that he want doesn't want me is it that he does blah, blah, blah? no mm -mm. I don't care right now. That's his problem. That's his inner world. I can't fix that for him, right? If a man, if I'm trying to figure out this man like me or not, then that's none of my business. His emotions towards me is none of my business. All I need to worry about is do I like him? Do I like you? No, you annoy the fuck out of me. Okay, I'm not going to be around you. I don't care how you feel. I'm not about to be around you. Right? mastery over your emotions and the high priestess you know you're sitting pretty you've got the moon you're intuitive you know when to move and when not to move she she got grapes and stuff around her because she sees the grapes in her in her reverie you see where we're going you see where we're going you know where the next thing is but spirit don't want you crying over thinking about no old shit no old money losses you know, things that you, the time you've been wasted, okay? You're 33, figuring this out. You're 55, figuring this out. Spirit said, don't think about the time, 
how long you thought you should have it should have took you to get there you got there you're getting there you're close to it chill out okay so what you took out that long sometimes i'll be thinking like damn i should have never went to usc you know i'm in all this student loan day all of this and that that's another reason why i don't plan on getting married anytime soon because i don't want somebody to assume that day look nine of cups this is about yourself this is self-fulfillment you're happy you're happy you're filling your cup up this is not about anybody else nobody else has the power over your emotions right now nobody your mama mad she gonna be mad you want to throw shade i'm not about to feel a way about the shade that you're throwing i know that that's a projection of you that ain't got shit to do with me right somebody roast you somebody say you this that and third that ain't got shit to do with me your unhappiness sir has nothing to do with me It ain't got shit to do with you. But before we was trying to <laughs> we was trying to fix people's emotions and things like that. Look, these cars flew out. The two of swords, the three of cups, and the tower of Sophia. No one is coming into our life bringing a tower moment. If we're connecting with people on those three of cups thing, we're meeting new healthier people. But they're not coming to bring no tower moment into our life. No heartbreak, no dis you no know, distractions, no destroying you, no having you in bed all day, tossing and turning, no rest, nothing like that. They're coming to bring peace and fulfill that cup. They're bringing their own full cup. You bringing your own full cup, right? But you're going to be making decisions. You're thinking about who I gotta cut, who I don't, and that's what they think because both is coming at you full force. So you're gonna be thinking about okay, who I'm gonna spend time with and who I'm not gonna spend time with, right? Who I spend time with or who I don't spend time with. Not everybody's a gift. Niggas coming at you left and right. Who I'm going who I'ma say yes to a date with, who I'm not. Who I'ma say yes to get giving some give some coochie to, some dick to, and who I'm not. Okay. Making that decision. Knowing who to walk away from or who not. So your pinnacles and stuff is going hand in hand. Cut your losses. Whoever needs to be cut needs to be cut. But we're not sad about that. We're not in emotions about that. You are focused on what your benefits right now. And I know that people are going to call you selfish, narcissistic. But you know what? Sometimes we need narcissists to remind us to be a narcissist ourselves. Narcissists come into our lives when we, when the spirit is like, okay, you're giving to too many people. You're doing too much in expanding. Last year, I cared about everybody under the sun, but was barely giving a fuck about me, right? I was giving, to, even at the beginning of this year, I was pouring and pouring, making sure this person's okay, that person's okay, you know, making sure, you know, seeing their needs and things like that, but nobody was giving a fuck about the needs that I had, right? And I'm mad because they're not giving a fuck. But that's the thing. People like that come into your life to remind you to give a fuck about you. And that you have to find balance between giving to a community and, you know, giving to a community doesn't mean that you have to, um, negate you. All you do it, we learned the less, the valuable, most valuable lesson we had learned this year, the most spiritual, deep lesson we learned this year was to not give a fuck about an accolade or what a whole group of people may think about you, right? So when I was with helping out my aunt and uncle, I was receiving a lot of praise. God bless you. Oh my God, you're such a saint. Oh my God, blah, 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 blah. But nobody was giving me money to go get my hair done, to buy clothes, to eat, to do any of those things, right? And so Spirit was like, the, those accolades, those praises you're getting, they not, they not sustaining your stability. They barely want to feed you. They don't want to pay you. They don't want to do any things like that. But they love to take, take all your energy. I ain't walking the same. Ever since I helped my uncle, I ain't walked the same because my Achilles is sprained. My body is how I'm about to make my money. 
But to be a saint, to get those praises, I'm about to sacrifice that. Then they're gonna be like, you broke. Da -da 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 -da. They're gonna leave your ass on the streets. And so the second half of this year, we are literally getting the, the benefits to reap in the harvest of what, of what we deserve and what we are working hard for. Spirit's like, it's going to work out this time. Just take the jump again. Simi has a song called My Light. I'm going to put it in the description. That's the song you're going to, you're about your light. You're about to shine. Focus on you. Yes, if you can help somebody, absolutely help. The other day, the other day I gave my grandma a good wash up. I washed her up, scrubbed her, gave her some exfoliating scrub to scrub off some dead skin off of her. Cause you know, they old and shit. Did all those things. But that's not a routine that I'm doing. At first, I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't do this as a routine because that's something that she needs. Yeah, it's something that she needs, but when it's the time for me to do it, I'll do it again. But I'm not going out my way to do it all the time. Maybe than an elderly person, <laughs> that is a strain on your body, especially your back. My back not gonna be hurting all the time. But the time she needs it, if I'm here and I'm available, absolutely. If I ain't doing shit, absolutely. If I'm not about to stop what I'm doing to help. Helping my uncle was cool, but it took away from me building my finances. Falling in love, cupcaking with a nigga, listening to him talk all goddamn day, that ain't doing shit for my finances. Especially a nigga that's not about to take care of me. Okay? Because you know what? After spending the time on the phone with him, the, the, he, the main nigga called me a broke bitch. Taking that girl out on dates? Yeah, it's cool. If you got it, you got the time, that's fine. You want to go out and eat lunch? You want a little company with you? Absolutely. Take her out on a date. But don't let her pressure you to take it out on a date if that ain't going to feed your finances. Because that's the same bitch that will call you a broke nigga if you asked her for some money. We don't care about the praises and the accolades that other people are going to give us. We're not sacrificing ourselves for, other, for a positive thought and mindset from somebody else. They could feel however they want to feel about you. Get to that money. Get to your stability. Oh, sweaty. <laughs> I didn't feel myself sweat. Get to your finances. Today, I'm going to pamper myself. When they take my grandma to the foot doctor, I'm going to be in there getting rid of this. Okay? We're not going to be Chewbacca any longer. Okay? And then I'm going to let them treat me to get my toes done. Maybe you're feeding me. But I'm not attached to no emotions. If I have the free time to spend with people, by all means. If I have the time to do a kind act, by all means. You still have to be kind and still help people out. So we're not fully a narcissist. But we're just pouring more into ourselves. The narcissist taught us to pour more into ourselves. Because if you don't, spirit is going to keep bringing more and more narcissists. I met a lot of narcissists last year. All I connected with was self-interested men. Is that for me to hold into bitterness and say, fuck men and fuck these niggas? No, I still love men. <laughs> I still love them. And I'm going to still give a, another nigga a chance. However, This is not that head over heels, self sacrificing energy, unrequited love energy. This is, I'm getting to my money, and if you're here to support and help that, 
I'll listen to you talk. If you're coming with some gems, I'll listen to you talk. I'll be on the phone with you, chit-chatting with you. I'll learn about your traumas and shit. If I got a free day today, we could talk. You wanna talk about your bitch? Come on. What she do wrong? <laughs> you know, what did what what did the job do today? Okay, because today I ain't, I'm chilling. But tomorrow, I'm not about to stop what I'm doing to talk to you. No. <laughs> I'm not about to stop what I'm doing to talk to you. There's things that I want to do that brings me joy, that brings me balance. You know? That's the energy that we're in. This is we get into these pinnacles. We get into our abundance, into the blessings. We gotta go pick up the blessings that spirit got for us. Temple run. Collecting the coins. Is life life not gonna stop life and people are not going to stop people. People are not going to you know, people are gonna feel away about you. I can't, uh, excuse me, say I did something to somebody or I said something and they mad and they see that they're pissed, right? Like, my great aunt, pissed. Pissed. But I'm not worried about reconciliation. Getting her unmad at me. I don't care. <laughs> Go be mad. That's, free. That's the work that you have to do. I done clear my anger from the situation. I ain't mad about it. I don't feel a way about a fake friend. I don't care about none of that. Whereas last year I did. Last year I was on here. Last year, the year before, the year before, I was on here telling you about all the people who did me wrong. <laughs> and the anger and the sadness and all of the things that I had dealt with within it, right? And I had to release with it. Now, I don't care what nobody did in the past. That, that was in the past. Like, like, bygones be bygones. Hey, how you doing? And keep it moving. You mad? Okay. You mad because I blocked you? All right. Everything's not about... I keep telling people when they keep coming to me about their shit. I be like, everything that I do is not about you. And it sounds really big, but it's the truth. You might have interpreted my actions to mean this, that, and the third. But it had nothing to do with you. It was about me. <laughs> and what I had to get done. And what I had to do. Did I go about it the right way? Maybe not. But at that moment, at that time, I made the decision that was right for me. And vice versa. Nobody has the power to upset me this year because I'm not allowing it to. Your little backhanded compliment don't bother me. You not being attracted to me, don't bother me. <laughs> That's fine. Feel however you feel. I can't I can't change nobody else's interpretation of me. Opinion of me. I don't care. And that's where you where spirit wants us to be in. It's not that you're being cold or heartless. Somebody might think you're cold or heartless. But it's like it's not about that. It's just that this is just not the year for me to invest in it. You should have came to me last year when I did care. She came to me three months ago when I was angry and in the fields. I'm not in the fields right now. I'm not in the fields. I'm not in that energy right now. Right now, I am balanced. I am calm. What y'all got going on over there is what y'all got going on over there. Y'all want to fight and argue with each other. I'm not fighting nobody else's battles either. I'm not defending and sticking up for nobody. They not defending and sticking up for themselves. They ain't got shit to do with me. They did what to you? Say what? That's fucked up. And move on. <laughs> yeah, that's like that. And it go on about my business.
my mama told me the other day that I should give up putting tarot cards. I said, I'm not. And I'm moving on with the situation. <laughs> I ain't upset. I ain't mad. I don't feel no way that she felt that she she felt that way. How she feel about the cards, it, it, it got shit to do with me. That's your opinion. I ain't telling you what you should do, what you what I think is wrong, what you're doing in your life. Because I don't care. That's it to you and your nigga. Your homegirl get it into it with her nigga. You caught her nigga cheating on her. Too bad. Too bad so sad. You know, I've been thinking about the song, um, Shawnee's got a man at home. Right? I love that song because that song is so petty. <laughs> She was like, okay, girl, your man ain't hitting on you. Your man cheating on you. Okay, girl. <laughs> but I got my man at home. Okay. And he doing good. He doing good by me. So I'm not about to be mad about what your nigga is doing to you. That's between you and your nigga. You is tolerating what you accepting in your life. And I should do me. Before I was worried, I had so much anxiety. Coming back to L.A., one thing I loved about coming back to L.A. after going through all those changes with Oya and Shango and in um, in Houston and trying to figure out, like, why I kept having all these storms. And I told y'all the storms were very cleansing. She, she came and she had me caught in these storms and these rain to cleanse my aura, to cleanse my energy. And what she... And I didn't realize the changes that she had made. I was like, well, what change did she make? What transformation did happen? She had to put me back into the old environments for me to see the changes. And one of that was emotional soundness and balance. I'm not in those emotions no more. I'm not in that oh yeah energy where I'm strongly mad about situations. I was strongly mad. And that's why that, that weather came. I was in L.A., when I was in LA last time, it was raining a lot. It was gloomy. It was sad. They said it was gloomy out here. I came back out here. The sun came out. Okay. The last time, the day it rained, I was leaving Houston. The day I was, the day I left Houston was the day it was raining. It rained. But I didn't get caught up in the rain. Spirit said, go be a, be a Starbucks. I was at Starbucks chilling. And then it rained. And I watched the rain from, from the inside, warm. It was cold because the AC was on, but dry. I wasn't wet. I wasn't soaked. Nothing, right? And then I went home. I went to LA. My mom bought my ticket. Uh, my mama bought my ticket. The train was coming in two hours. She bought my ticket, and I and I went straight to straight there, right? straight there. It was drizzling when I was at the Amtrak. I was straight. I was there. You know? And then I came back out here. It's nothing but sun. Sunshine. The heat out. It's been 83. Then you went to 90 the other day. Feels good out here. It's like 83 today. It's gonna be. But it feels good. Because I feel good inside. I feel good inside. I'm not absorbing other people's emotions. I feel sound. Oh, y'all brought me out here to see how controlled I am in my emotions. And I realized, I was like, damn, when I left LA, I had so much fear and anxiety, fear about uh, how other people was feeling, how, what they gonna do, how they gonna take their emotions out on me. It was, I was so anxious. Now I'm like, I don't care. First, I was like, oh my God, about this boy. Let me hide, hide from him because I don't know what he's going to do. I said, like, hey, how you doing? What's up? Where you been? I ain't seen you. I don't have access to you. I ain't got your number. I ain't got this. All right, well, I got to go. Oh, you just going to leave? I got to go catch the bus. <laughs> I got catch the bus. I'm sorry. We can talk about this another day. But I'm about to miss my bus. I'm about to miss my bus to go talk to this man about about these emotions, about why he ain't got access to me. Why I blocked him. You know why. 
You're not about to miss our opportunities worrying and dealing with other people's emotions. That ain't got shit to do with me. Okay. That what happened? Yeah, I know. You think it was fucked up? Yeah, I know. Me too. Even when my mama came, when I came back and my mama was talking about how worried she was and now how she could sleep better because she know where I'm at. The woo -woo -woo -woo. Those are not my emotions. <laughs> That's hers. That's for her to, to deal with. That's her fears and her anxieties and things like that. I never promised that I was going to stay either. She want me to sit still. She want me to do that. But I am an adventurer. I'm a, you know, I was watching Pocahontas. So I'm back watching Pocahontas, right? And with Pocahontas, her dad was like, you, you know, they were saying like her dad, like she has a free spirit. She has the spirit of her mother. She needs to move around. She needs to adventure. And the thing was, she was like, I don't know what to do. She was like, do I be steady as the beating drum? My dad wants me to be still and steady and take the, the traditional route. My mom wants me to just get a job. I could stay with family. She would love me to stay with family. Stay here with my grandma and them. Just get a job. You know, get a salary. And 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 live life contently. Take a group a cruise here here and there. That's not my life. I see a life full of adventure. I'm all sunburned. You know. I see a life full of adventure. My life is just around the river band. Okay? She was like, why do people not want to know what's around the river band? And I'm like, that song get deeper and deeper every time. <laughs> it get deeper and deeper every time. Because it's so true. Why choose the, the steady life? The predictable life? When I want to see what's just around the river band. I want to, you know, I'm never going to step in the same river twice. You're not going to ever live in the same, so you're not going to have the same day twice. I don't care how, how stagnant you're, you're, you know, that's the thing. I'm so blessed that I'm not a fixed sign because with fixed signs, they have to have everything the same way. The same experience every day. They need the predictability. That's not me. I cannot be steady as the beating drum. The do do. Do 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 every day is do 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 they might add boom boom do 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 boom 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 do 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 boom 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 right that's it but I want bring the horn. Right? <laughs> I want I want the unpredictability. I want the drum solo that you can go get the same drum solo every time. Okay? I need unpredictability. You know, Beyonce is a Virgo. She's a mutable she's mutable in her son but she is fixed in her personality and her ascendant right she's a leo she's a leo rising and then a scorpio moon so she's fixed in both ways right um but then she has that son that's immutable so sometimes you do see her change up her style right but pretty much her career has fairly been the same She's very pretty much stay stagnant. Not stagnant, but same, right? She's gonna wear the leotard, right? It might be a different leotard, it might be a different style leotard, but she still nonetheless has the bodysuit of the leotard when she go comes on stage. It's just gonna be a different variations of it, right? Um, however, I'm a Libra, uh, a Libra rising, so you gonna see one day I have the leotard. Then the next performance, I'm in full nude. The next performance, I'm in a pantsuit like Janet Jackson. The next time, I'm gonna be in something else, right? Because I'm meant to change completely. 
so people don't understand my personality you might see my personality bubbly 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 and then the next time you hang out with me i'm vibing and chilling because there's differences and there's changes in duality to my personality i'm not always going to be the social butterfly sometimes you're going to see me in chill mode Uh, but you know what I mean and so I don't know why I talked about that but we are not oh yeah because we're not steady as a beating drum it's not going to be a predictability it's not going to be you know what's always going to come for me I'm not meant to just live in one place I'm in LA for now for now enjoy me while I'm here because who knows when the next time I'm going to have the unction to get up and go again but this time, I'm not, I'm not going to just be outrageous with it. <laughs> I'm actually planning it this time. So this time, this this idea, it comes with planning, execution, to where it has no choice but to be successful. Whereas the other times when we were in those wands energy, we, we did right. Like I moved before setting up a spot. And that's why I was out in Houston homeless. But we learned that lesson last time. So next time when we move out of state, we're not just going to move out with no money, no no plan, no nothing. This time, we're going to have the money. <laughs> and we're going to move out successfully. This time, we might have the car. This time, we might have this, that, and the third, right? This time, we're going to have the plan that goes along with it. Ooh, I think I'm going to have a puff day today. Just got to get out of that part. Okay, it might be a puff day today. Okay. Bada bing, bada bing. Where okay for for friends. Bada bing, bada bing. Um. I look crazy. Tell me, brother. Do I look crazy? <laughs> Okay, period. Let's put it up a little bit more. Ain't nothing but against the party. Ain't nothing but against the party. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that is really the message. I don't even know why I'm still recording. I don't know, but I hope y'all got it, right? You are not involved in other people's... Like I told you, we are out of folks' mess. We might hear a little gossip because this is cancer season, so we don't mind hearing it a little bit, okay? We don't mind, the, you know, I got to go get my toes done, so that means I'm going to have to listen to all the mess and the trauma, and I'm going to ask questions. If that takes... If that's what it takes to get these toes done, okay? I'm going to listen to the tea, but I ain't getting myself caught up in the tea. If that makes sense, right? I'm not getting caught up in people's mess. Such as I said, they mad at you. Okay. They gonna be mad. Like I told you. October. Libra season. The end of September. You get in October. People could, could confront you. People want to talk. Tell them, wait till October. Then I'll care. And then during uh, uh, Scorpio season, I could feel the feels. I could feel the feels during Scorpio season because I'm resting. I'm reflecting. And after that, it's a new year. I can't be, I can't be bothered with what happened in 2024. You can be bothered with what happened in 2024. Some people may say that that's unhealthy. It's not. 
why I keep harping over things? Okay. I'm at this phase now in my journey with life where it's kind of like, I don't, it's like I don't care anymore. And not in this, like, I don't care, I'm going to fuck people over energy. It's not that. It's more of just like, you do me dirt. You did something. You got one up on me. Well, however you feel. I'm not crying about that. I'm chalking it up to the game. I'm charging it to the game. A nigga play in my face, I charge it to the game. That's just a part of me. You win some, you lose some. I miss out on money, I charge you to the game. You win some, you lose some. So if you go to the casino, you win some, you lose some, right? You go to the, We go to the casino knowing that it's a gamble, right? And so we know that, okay, I'm about to spend $5 on this machine. But there's no guarantee that I'm gonna get 10,000. There's no guarantee that I'm gonna get $10. There's no guarantee that I'm gonna get the $5 back. I might go to zero. But are you going to cook, cry off of the money and the chances that you took to go to the casino? No, you're going to charge it to the game. That's the part of going gambling. You lose some, you win some. That's the same thing with dating. We're not holding these emotions to, oh my God, this is going to be right. Is this going to be the person? Like, they not gonna, Are they going to play me? Are they going to? No. I'm going to enjoy the experience for what it is. And if it ends up being a failure, so motherfucking be it. So be it. Who cares? I love my hair. In all of the states. When it's dry, spread some little leave in conditioner on this baby. By the time I take a shower, it's going to curl up this little purple color. I like how your hair gets straightened from the part you slip down the most it's time to be in this unruly energy I don't care I love it I was listening to Nirvana what is it come as you are it was like come as you are come exactly as you are and I'm gonna come as I am But other people is in the fields right now. They want to confront people. You know, cancers love to confront and tell somebody how they feel. Or they're going to tell other people how they feel. Remember I told you about the gossip that's going to be surrounded around you? I don't care. I'm in my old shoe energy. I'm thinking about me and me and me. I flirt, I say hello, I give a little look, and I go on about my business. <laughs> I go on about my business. It was funny because I was able to easily distract that dude yesterday just by looking at him. Then he got off, so I'm like, when we gonna go to the cafe again? I was like, one day. But I forgot my signs and my signals for when I'm about to run into somebody. I was like, why am I seeing so much Hello Kitty? And I know that every time I see Hello Kitty, I know I'm about to see this nigga. <laughs> I know I'm about to see this nigga. Every time. And so I was watching Lilo and Stitch, right? And the Lilo and Stitch was talking about, like, family. And so we're back with our family right now. We know our family is they never going to change. They're going to be who they're going to be, right? But... We are now in this phase, in this stage of our lives where we're about to meet new people who are about to cultivate as our real family. Like, people who, like, when you know you want a fam, like, a type of family unit you want, you're going to get that. And it may not, it's not the people that's going to be your blood. Now, the people that we're blood with, you know, we, we might still have to inter intermingle with them right now. That's fine. You know? That's fine and dandy. But I'm not looking for them to provide what I know that they can provide. Uh, I have learned to take my mother as who she is. Instead of trying to change her into being something she's not. 
I know I'm not gonna get sensitivity from her. But that doesn't mean I'm going to be deprived of, sens of sensitivity, of, sim of sympathy, of, of compassion, of empathy. But it's going to come from the people that I build as a family. So the next phase of our life, we're going to be building and meeting, like that three of cups came out, right? We're going to be building the people, building our strong unit, unit with the people we connect with the most with. Um, but in the meantime, we're not going to hold other people. We're not going to just meet somebody and place that on them. We're going to get begin to know people and their characters. And if they show us that they're not going to provide that for us, we're not going to be mad about it, right? So, like, if you're going to date, say you want a girl that is very nurturing and very loving, but you meet this other girl, then you're not going to place that on her. You're not going to force her to be nurturing and loving. You're not going to force her to be loving. You're just going to be like, you know what? I met her. I think she's cute. I think she's attractive. I still want to hit. I might hit. Sex is good, but I know that she's not the wife that I'm looking for. And that's okay. And I'm not going to be mad about it. I'm not going to be like, fuck these bitches, fuck these hoes, these girls. Blah, 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 blah. These girls are so basketed. No. I know what I'm looking for. And until I find it, I'm not desperate to find it. I'm not seeking high and low to find it. I'm not forcing forcing it onto so nobody. I'm just charging it for how it is. Me and a nigga who playing games and not faithful. He's not about to have me bitter. I'm not gonna be like these niggas, all they do is lie and cheat. Fuck these niggas, these niggas ain't shit. No. I just met a dude who just be fine. But he ain't faithful. So I'm not going to invest that much into him. I might play with him a little bit. <laughs> I might play a little. But I'm not going to hold and harbor these emotions. I done ran into an ex-friend. I know that they're smiling. I'm going to have a conversation with them. But I'm not holding the bitterness. And I'm not forcing them to be a good friend. Hey, how's it been? You good? That's good. It's good seeing you. They want to talk about why you stopped being a friend. Life moves on, babes. It's just not our season to be friends anymore. It's okay. But when I see you, it's all love. There's no enemies. We ain't enemies. We're just not close friends no more. And that's okay. People are going to be like, what's with them? They rude. And you're like, I'm not being rude. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just not feeding into those emotional waters. You're not about to have me in the water with you. I've been at the beach, but I ain't been in the water. I ain't swimming. I'm looking at it. We looking at folks. We ain't in it. You mad? I'ma just look at you be mad. <laughs> I'ma just look at you being mad. I'm sitting, I'm chilling at the beach with my water, with my blood. My water and my blood. Okay? I'm gonna have me some water. I'm gonna drink water while I'm looking at the water. I'm gonna take the lesson that I learned from your emotions. You wanna tell me about myself? Go ahead. Your feelings matter. Just to have the same shirt on. So when I put new clothes on, I ain't wash my ass. Just put them on because I had to go to the store. I'm going to wash my ass today. If I want to put Nero on and stuff like that, so I want to have a private moment to do all that. Uh -uh. But that's it. Well, I'm sorry I did that to you. So I made you feel that way. Yeah, you don't even care. I do, but I, I don't have to show you, prove to you that I don't, that I care through me crying. Why are you so gung ho on me crying? Why are you so gung ho on me being sad? Yeah, 
You feel me? You didn't show up to the baby shower. Okay. I'm sorry that I could, you know, she felt that I didn't show up for you. Do a very important moment of your life. You ain't gotta over explain to people. <laughs> you ain't gotta over explain. It is what it is. But what I am focused on and where my where my energy, my time, my emotions are on is get into this bag. And this bag is bringing me joy. It ain't making me sad either. Get into what you have get into, your goals and stuff. It shouldn't be having no sad emotions attached to it. You should be feeling real good. The sun is out and shining. You're shining. You're shining your light. I'm sorry, I'm not in that darkness in the moon energy with you right now. I like how long it takes to smoke a bunker now because it, it'd be quick smoking a blunt. <sighs> the little digs that my mom used to say bothers me every time and I'll get in motion. Why would she say something like that? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> now like that's that's her insecurity. <laughs> You're not the people pleaser anymore. <laughs> they think I'm lazy. Oh well. They're entitled to feeling that way. You can feel however you want to feel about me. I ain't even letting a cold, sickness, illness, none of that stop me. You got to be in the sun for things to grow, right? Things grow with the sun. A plant grows with the sun. It has the water. It has enough water to nurture it, right? Your water now, she'll sweat. But it takes it takes hard sweat and tears. I put my sweat and tears into crying. That's the water. You want this so bad, you're crying. You're so happy, you're crying tears of joy. And those tears of joy is what's nurturing and nurturing is you know providing the nurturing to the to the plant that you're growing. And your light, your sun, your light, your joy, your happiness. That's the nutrients to grow the plant. To grow the seed. The tomato needs the sun. It needs the water and needs the sun. You're providing it on your own. Nine of cups. That's what you're doing. But nobody else's tears and emotions is going to grow your shit. Your emotions ain't going to pay my bills. How you feel about me ain't going to pay my bills. It ain't going to give me a meal. It ain't going to give me a place to lay my head. Hell, my emotions ain't gonna do that. But my grind is, my grind is gonna get me there. Me wanting it so bad, it's gonna get me there. Me doing what I need to do, working out, we working out, we sweat. That sweat, that water, that's what's growing it. Experiencing your hard work. Not your mama's feelings. Not your baby daddy's feelings. Not your baby mama's feelings. Not your wife's feelings. Not your sister, nieces, and cousins' feelings. Not your kids' feelings. That's it. <laughs>